I think it's always important to do what to do what you do. Um, it's your spirit, isn't it? You always follow um, decisions that your gut will tell you to do. So like this, rather than walk by direction, in a sense, you walk by faith because that gut feeling. So just like we was on a, we was on a tour in Dubai, and um, I'm open-minded, man. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I I have faith in God, but I haven't picked a religion to follow as such. So I just like to explore and learn about different cultures and religions. So, uh, you know, one of my best friends from kids is, is a Muslim brother. So we was on a tour of Dubai and we was in the mosque, uh, looking at how beautiful the architecture is. And it was his time to do afternoon prayer. So I just held him, I said, look, put a prayer in for me. Do you know what I mean? Everyone needs a little bit of a blessing, wherever it comes from. So we was in the mosque at the time. He said, why don't you join me for prayer? So. You know, he in, in you have like an imam or imam, mm. someone that leads prayer. So he was leading the prayer. So you follow, I followed the instructions. But I was praying to, even though I was respecting the culture, I was just praying in my own way, but following, you know, the way of Islam in, in that sense, in like bowing down on my knees and stuff. And it would have been the same if I was in the church. So I think for me, it was definitely with pure intentions. But for others, I can't make up their mind of how they want to interpret it and how they want to um, explain their reasons for why they may have disliked it you know where I'm coming from because for me it was just from pure intentions as I just explained the first thing that come out from that picture is that anti Joshua is now turned Muslim mm. so can you just sort of clarify whether that is the case or I, isn't the case I don't want to start clarifying stuff yeah. do you know what I mean because I think okay. that, um, I don't think I have to if I want to be in a mosque, if I want to be in a, in, in a Catholic church or a church, it's all down to from my decision. I don't want to start having to be like, oh, I'm going to church, but guys, I'm not a Christian. Um, that's silly, do you know what I mean? Um, so I just, I was just in a mosque and I just wanted to be blessed, to be, be protected. So I asked my boy to pray for me and he asked me to join him for prayer. So with all due respect I, I followed the culture and the way the religion bowed down to God and that was all it was when I was looking underneath the comments I saw that one of the first comments was uh, I'm followed I won't be going to watch Anthony Joshua anymore well people need his ticket or her ticket so you know it's no but problem. why, why would you believe that someone would go, you know that's why I said to you yeah. about the bubble it's important to get out of the bubble you know because when I was out there we had a, had a long conversation before with someone um, just about life and, and, and religion so yeah, it's just it was nice to be out of the bubble. So from where I posted it, mate, when I was away, I was in a pure state, in a place of like relaxation, and my mind was clear. So um, people that may comment negative things might have seen it in a different light if they was in that conversation with me or had an understanding of why I've done it. But that's why I say I can't always explain why I do things because I'll be explaining until the cows come home. But you feel like you don't have to explain. You went to the mosque that day. Yeah. You pray. End of story. Is that how it is with, for you? With like the majority of things I do, yeah. with the majority of things I choose to do, yeah. And as long as they're with pure intent, a hundred percent, I shouldn't explain. It's just a, it's a good thing. It's about, and especially like with all the stuff going on in America, with, with the election and stuff, and, and divide and conquer. That shows like unity. Do you know what I mean? A guy that doesn't practice, but but connecting with Islam when it showed him, it shows unity. So there should be no negative feedback about that when someone's just trying to spread a positive message I don't see how you can find negative in it so that's why I don't really entertain it it would be too hard to try and, try and explain it but in this country there's so much negative focus on on Muslims and Islam but I, when I was out there I was sitting with people in their full um, I think it's condoras and stuff like that and they're like they're right they, they seem like righteous normal humble people do you know what I mean so it's a difference it's a big difference and You've got a lot of the Brits going out there to visit the country and it must be beautiful. So it's like, I think you need to get out there and spread, you know, open your eyes to like the other beautiful things in life rather than what's directly in front of you. And as I said, when I was actually out there and I lifted my head up from what was directly in front of me, I saw, I saw some you know, positive, positive people and I had some positive conversations. And, and um, the Islam that I know, is a, is a beautiful thing. The Christianity that I know is a beautiful thing. The, the Judaism that I know, the Hinduism, it's all beautiful things, man. They, they preach some nice things. I was just saying that all that negative stuff that we see and hear yeah. in this country, it must be stressed that that isn't just that. You know, there is another side to all these cultures that you're talking about and religions you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. That, 
people need to be aware of everything that goes on rather than everything. just focus on the, exactly. the negative stuff that's portrayed to us. So. Yeah, but that's, that's, yeah. And that's why I say, like, stay humble because media is media. Don't buy into everything you hear. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, hype and stuff. I know about all that stuff, but, you know, it's media, isn't it? It's part and parcel. It comes with the territory. So, yeah, you should just try and look into things a bit deeper and listen. And that's what I said. We had a good conversation. And I've always, like, had an interest in, in, in history because like all these things when I talk about religion there's like a massive sector in life was here way before my existence so I have a massive interest in history 